So look, before we get started on today's show, I got to thank my uh, viewers every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. We do a live chat on YouTube and on my uh, on some of my Facebook channels. And in that chat, we discussed kind of like a direction that the uh, show is going to go as three shows a week just uh, started to be too much for me. There's a lot more stuff that I want to get done. Uh, there's a lot more stuff that I need to get done, including the web page, the newsletter. I got new shirt designs coming out. You can click my uh, Teespring account for that. And just loads of things that I want to do. And uh, look, doing three shows a week just proved to be way too much. Um, you know, start editing at 4 o'clock in the morning up to 12. You know, by then you're just pretty much shot. And to think you got to cook again was just it was just way too much so uh you know so look i put the uh, i put the uh, question to the viewers and the viewers came forth one video a week which is going to be every wednesday i'll do a shopping list attached to that video and anybody who wants to make the uh make the recipe can make that for the uh for the weekend so you'll have a nice shopping list on what you need to get and obviously you just watch the video on how to do it you know, look, and from there, what we're going to do is that'll be the uh, main show will come out Wednesday. And from there, I'll do surprise shows. Look, I love to cook. You know, it's in my blood. So I'm going to cook whether I roll the cameras or not. That's another story. However, when I got something to cook and I feel like rolling the cameras, I'll roll them and just release that video. You know, basically whenever I want, maybe a Friday, maybe a Monday. Uh, you know, and we'll try to keep this down to about four to six, seven, eight videos a month, including my, uh, including my live shows on Sunday night, man, because those things really have been a uh, blessing and a blast for me. I love communicating with the, uh, you know, with the viewers. I love giving away stuff to the viewers, as you all know. And, uh, you know, so, so that's a definitely a cool run. And uh, I'm going to continue that right up into the winter, through the winter. I mean, we are going to have some fun with that. You know, the bigger I get, the more stuff I get from advertisers and the more stuff I can give away uh, to you guys. So, uh, you know, that's all going to be a trip, man. It's all going to be fun. So, look, that is it. Now it's on with the show. Oh, yeah. So look what I got for you today, man. This is a uh, this is a summer treat, a barbecue meat pie, and you could see some of the uh, ingredients here. I'll take you step by step in putting this together, and then we will get it on the pit. As you can see behind me, this is the maiden voyage for the Char Grower 980. It's not that rib maiden voyage that everybody wanted, but I just did ribs on the. Uh, I'm the pit boss and wanted to get this uh, get this dish out. Again, this is a fun make, man. This thing is going to be uh, busting with flavors. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for all that. Oh, yeah. Guys, look, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. It is greatly appreciated. Guys, so look, let's, uh, let's look at the ingredients on today's cook. Let's put this together. Let's get this on the pit. We are looking at about maybe about a one hour cook. See if we can get a little bit of smoke on it. And uh, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, man, look, everybody strap in because this is gonna be a good one. Look, one of the things I've been meaning to bring to you guys, you see it on the screen. That is a grocery list for this cook. You can pause it, jot that stuff down, cooking recipe in the description. So look, one of the things also I learned is try not to overlap the bacon too much. I know you're gonna overlap it, but just try and not, especially in the last step, which you will see soon, when you fold the bacon over, just kind of clip those little ends off, and I'll uh, point that out in a uh, couple minutes. So from there, you'll get your 97.3, 
or the uh, best uh, ratio of fat that you can find and just kind of make a pie, right? You want to uh, get that down. This is about two pounds. I think I used about one and three quarters pound. You want to build those side walls up. Again, pie form because you want the uh, ground beef to hold everything in, of course. Next step, get your uh, favorite rub. As you saw there, I am using Uncle Steve's Shake Competition Cow Powder. Oh, yeah. Next step, get your onion, your uh, pepper, your jalapeno pepper, and your uh, garlic, right? You're gonna make some slices. Now, I'm doing rings. You can do chops if you want. Pretty simple here, just get those all laid out on top of the uh, ground beef. So look, on the jalapeno, I am only going one. If you like a little bit more kick or a little bit more bite, you can add two. And again, you just want to get that evenly laid out in the pie so everybody gets a little piece, of course. From there, four to five garlic cloves. I am going to crush them out to get those uh, juices flowing, get the oils working, and I'll sprinkle that around the pie. And now look, you can add anything you want to add in the pie. I just go with the uh, with the traditional, the onions, the uh, peppers, and the uh, garlic. But again, hey man, add what you wish. Oh yeah, it's your pie. Oh yeah. Oh. And look, one thing is for sure, pick yourself up a good extra sharp cheddar cheese. You'll get a lot less oil. It'll hold together better and get the uh, block and grate it in if you can. You want to get that spread out again because you're going to be folding that bacon over so you kind of want it even on the uh, top right get yourself some more shake down some more rub down oh yeah and start folding Now again here, you can clip some of that bacon that is overlapping. It's really not gonna crisp up. It's not gonna cook. And hey man, you really don't have to touch all sides of the bacon. So uh, feel free to clip away and use that in your uh, breakfast, of course. Oh man, a little more shake down. Guys, quick reminder, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you don't want to miss what I got coming up. Oh, heck no. All right, guys, look, that is it, man. Fairly easy to put this together. And hey, man, it is fairly spectacular if you ask me. I mean, if this thing comes out like I hope it does, man, and, and, and kind of like a pie, that, that it's just going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be good, I can tell. Um, but this is where the... Uh, the uh, internet differs in what to do next 
So look, a lot of people would put the uh, barbecue sauce here on the top. I'm not going to go that route. I want to really watch this bake and I want the bacon to really crisp up. And I don't really want that barbecue sauce to interfere. You could put anything you want inside. You probably could even put a little barbecue sauce inside. But again, I don't want anything to interfere what we got here. I just want this sucker to cook as is so I could watch everything, hopefully get it out like a pie, slice it like a pie, and of course I'll have a little uh, BBQ sauce to dip. So look, I got the uh, Char Griller 980 cruising along at about 350 to 400 degrees. I'm gonna get this in the middle shelf and just let it rock, man. I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe a half hour to an hour, somewhere in that range, and uh, oh yeah, we should be good to go. <laughs> Guys, look, we are 40 minutes into the cook. We are uh, holding steady at 395 on the uh, pit. So let's go in together. Let's take a look and let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah. So the bacon's crisping up pretty nice, but look what I'm going to do here, because the, uh, the meat is looking pretty good, I bet. Let me see. Yeah, we're already 160 Fahrenheit in the uh, meat, so I'm going to bang up the, uh, I'm going to bang up the temp on the pit and just take this up and crisp that bacon up and get it off and get it on the board. All right, guys, look, we are about an hour or so in, and this is all I'm going to let it go. So let's get it off. Let's get it on the board, and let's uh, see where we're at. I have a feeling the cheese has left the building, sort of say, but hey, man, let's, uh, let's get it on the board and check it out. Oh, yeah. This ain't no joke. <laughs> Get, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that, let it drain a little bit, then get it on the board, slice it, and hey man, see where we're at. <laughs> Guys, look, I would say this is one you are definitely going to want to make. As we get it on the board, we will lay out a couple slices and we will go in live for that taste test. Look, I got to close out of this, and I have to tell you, man, I am definitely impressed. Um, yeah, a little of the bacon didn't cook, so what we want to do is we want to uh, remove that when we load it up and we fold it. Maybe just clip some of that out outside edges, which I looked at in the uh, beginning, and make sure that you don't overlap too much. Other than that, I mean, we are pretty crispy. It held together. A lot of juice came from the meat, and I did drain it, so that is a... Uh, Good sign the cheese is in there. I like that. If you don't want those thick peppers and onions in there, you can uh, cut those down or dice those up. I wanted it kind of thick, so I left it like that. Quick taste test, man, because the flies also seem to uh, seem to love this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it all held together. 
good stuff. This is good stuff. The cheese is key, man. Pick yourself up a good sharp cheese. There you can see a little cheese happening right there. Now I'm glad I didn't go with the uh, barbecue sauce on top because it's just gonna mess it up. I like it like this with the, uh, with the bacon, the cheese, the peppers, and the onions. Cheers to you all. Wow, that's freaking good. Guys, look, man, this is definitely a treat. I hope you guys uh, go out and make this and uh, send me pictures if you do. Look, I'm going to roll my YouTube joint and Patreon members. I got information down below. Don't forget our Sunday night chat is a go. And look for some surprise releases along the week. Otherwise, see you soon. Must make Wow, this is really good.